Hi, I'm Jen Gallagher and welcome to another training reel sponsored by Little Yellow Bicycle. Today we are making a Twig Envelope album. I wanted to show you some of the supplies you will need to create today's album. You will need the Twig Envelope Album Kit. You will need the Fresh First cardstock stickers. You will need the mini banners. You will need the epoxy stickers. You will need some of the journaling cards. You will need the fabric favorites. You will need the chipboard stickers. You will need the flower buttons. You will need the chipboard sticker buttons. Decorative edge cardstock and the chipboard fabric favorites. So let me show you what comes inside these album kits. Inside the album kit it tells you what exactly you will find. It says that it has five envelopes. It has five journaling cards. It has two pieces of chipboard and then it has two different sets of pattern paper that is double sided and you can use either side and in addition to that you get the hardware so you have everything in this album to just create a basic album so I wanted to show you how you go about creating an envelope so here's the envelope and the envelope has two patterns it has a light pattern on the inside and has a dark pattern on the outside and these are configured so that you can make them either way and I am going to use the dark blue pattern so what you need to do is you need whatever you use to do holes I have an anywhere hole punch and then you're just gonna punch a hole right here about an inch away from the top of the envelope okay also in the hardware kit is some string and you're going to thread the string through that hole and just hold it on the side here. You're going to use one of the chipboard circles and set it right in your circle and then you're going to use a metal eyelet. So that's what it looks like assembled. So then you turn it over. Looks like it went away from me. And then you just use an eyelet setter. And that's how you create your first hole. Now for the second one, you're going to need a, the original chipboard circle, or the second chipboard circle, and you measure it, and you just use a pen and mark where the circle will go. Okay, and that is just a visual cue. Then open it back up so that only the long flap is available, and just punch through that little circle that you make. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing. Use the chipboard circle, and this time you won't do string. You'll just use the eyelet, and then set the eyelet. All right, now to finish up the envelope, you're going to put adhesive down the shorter width of the envelope. And I like this red double adhesive tape. It's quite strong and it's double sided and you just hear that and then add a little bit of adhesive at the bottom. Now once you have your adhesive done you can put journaling cards inside the envelope and then to close it you can just roll the string around the chipboard. So that's how you make an envelope. So let's go ahead and finish assembling the rest of the album and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, let's show you the journaling cards. On three of the journaling cards, I actually ran them through my printer and they contain some journaling that's special to my son. This book is dedicated to my son. And then on the backs, I just put a two and a quarter by about a three and a half inch photo. On the I've Decided, I wrote some things that I just love about my son and again put a photo on the back. And then in this I Love card, I asked him to write five things that he loves right now because I thought that would be fun to document in the future. And then again a photo. Now you can put these journaling tags inside the envelopes or you can actually incorporate them into your album. You would just need to punch the holes for them. 
So let's look through the pages that I've done. So this album is dedicated to my son James. He's seven, about to turn eight. And I've used a die cut circle that I trimmed and some of the embellishments that I showed you from our supply list. And then you can just put any of the cards inside the envelope. I do recommend that you don't put anything that is too thick in there. This is one of the chipboard pages. I used a journaling card, a banner, a flower, and another photo. And on the opposite side, I just added another photo and some more embellishments. I just used a glue stick to adhere this paper to this chipboard. Here's the life stories. Again, I trimmed a die cut paper and I added one of the journal tabs. And I didn't do anything on the back. I thought they were kind of pretty left alone. Fabric tag, epoxy. Just combining elements and playing around until you like it. This is another one of the chipboard pages. You could add additional journaling here, but I kind of said everything I had to say on the journaling cards. And then I end with favorite finds. All right, I'm gonna finish assembling the album and then I'll show you what it looks like assembled. Here's the completed album, Be Yourself. For more tips and tricks, and for the complete PDF to complete this album, please visit our blog or our website.